Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Uh, as promised, I'm going to show you how to beat this new dungeon in Eternal Evolution. So, uh, let's go directly to it. The Battlefield of Azura and Zutra. All right, kind of an interesting... This would probably be like a Wenfear character. He kind of has like Predator vibes in a way with the helmet and the dreads and stuff. Cool looking character, cool looking sword. Now I have three things we're gonna we're gonna go over. We're firstly we're gonna briefly discuss the dungeon. Then I'm gonna show you how to beat stage six on auto or level six on auto. Then I'm gonna show you how to beat the timed clear rewards for level six. And then we're going to try to attempt uh, this live on my uh, free to play account, my streamer account. So. Let's dive in to the mechanics of the dungeon itself. So Anzutra, or Mr. Uh, Knockoff Predator, deals, uh, he's got a bunch of abilities, um, and basically this is a tank boss. This is a tank fight, a tank dungeon in the Ketosian Triangle. Deals instant melee damage to all nearby players. Um, that one, he'll, he'll jump in, and then he'll just do a big old whirlwind, and it'll hit everybody, and it really hurts. Falling leaves. When there are less than three enemies nearby, he's going to leap to the furthest enemy and deal instant melee damage. So, you always want to have him surrounded. Uh, ideally, three tanks. Otherwise, he's going to jump to the back line, which is going to be your healers, and he's going to kill you. But this skill can be interrupted by knockdown effects, a.k.a. tank abilities. Thunderclap quickly moves to a distant target and deals damage. Well, thanks, bud. Repeat this five times, attacking a different target each time if possible. This skill can be erupted, but again, he's going to move to your healers and he's going to kill them. So basically, this is called keep them interrupted, keep them CC'd, keep them in the middle, kill them, don't let them kill your healers. Destroy soul when the HP reaches, <clears throat> and these are like level breaks, kind of like we have in Terradome, in Idar, uh, in Disa Caves. 75, 50%, and 25, he's going to go into the middle and he's going to start to absorb, basically, souls. And he's going to deal 100% melee instant AoE damage per second to all enemies for 5 seconds. So it's going to hurt. He's going to do an AoE uh, dot, basically. And at the end of the duration, it's an insta-kill. So you got 5 seconds to land a certain amount of interrupts, or not interrupts, knockdowns on him to cancel this ultimate ability and then in enfeeble if this skill is interrupted and zutra receives seven percent of his max hp as damage this is where you're going to see the majority of your damage coming from is you basically doing an interrupt on this skill what does that mean knock him down when this is up um it's kind of hard to time you'll see it in the fight uh knock him down with a tank when this is up and he he knocks off a huge chunk of his damage so that is the abilities of the boss here are some comps that have beat level one right so lots of purple here lots of red lots of yellow so we're not going to worry about them we're going to worry about my comps my comps because you came here to see my comps so let's move over to my recorded footage this is going to be um, how to beat stage six on auto. So here we go. Stage six. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. We'll let it, we'll let it roll. So basically, keep in mind, uh, my team, this is the three triple S tanks. Uh, my Panda and my Wamagon are both X30. And I didn't put, turn sound on when I recorded this. So sorry, you're not going to hear the chink, 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 chink of hits and stuff. You're just going to have to listen to me talk. But basically, you're going to take in your three tanks and your two healers. Now, also keep in mind, my Masrani is X30. <clears throat> my Ma uh, Miranda is X30. Uh, Masrani is Immortal 0, and Miranda is Immortal 0. So I got base Immortal healers, but both of them are X30. And we got three V3 triple S tanks, and two of them are X30. And this allows me just to do it on auto. So let's just kind of watch. Um, again, like, see, look at it. He's not taking any 
damage. Like the damage, he's gonna get the damage taken off in chunks. And oh yeah, and there's one big chunk. You see his uh, his HP went from like 98 to 91. Don't know who did it. I don't have the damage meter pulled up, but basically, the tanks surround him. As long as he's surrounded by three characters, he's not gonna jump. Uh, but he is going to jump eventually. You, you can't really time uh, the interrupts perfectly. Right now he's picking on Zeta. I recommend um, Zeta or Vagnus be positioned in the top left corner because that's who he's going to focus on. That's going to be the focus of his wrath. So you see 86 now. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, we're gonna And there's a big old chunk of damage again. And now when he hits 75, he's going to jump over to the middle, over here. And he's going to start doing his swirly purple uh, balls of death. You know, big old purple balls on the face. So he's going to be deal. And I interrupted it instantly. So let's go back and look at that. Uh, 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 oh, okay. Whoa, happened so fast. So I got to go back further. So let's see. He's jumped. Everyone's still turned around. Obviously, Panda's ultimate just went off because you can see the nuclear shocks going right now so everybody's proccing nuclear mayhem which is i think is what knocks him down yes because each one of these is a knockdown you basically want to time panda's alt for this uh for this phase and then with without even turning around he's knocked down just due to wamagon pulsing the nuclear magnetic shocks and it's rinse and repeat see he finished that and he moved back here he's doing big damage to my healers and now he's coming back again for more damage to my healers. Uh, which is why you got to run two healers. Uh, you don't have to, but uh, I found it easier to run two healers because then they keep each other alive, right? So Miranda basically keeps uh, the attack buff up on Panda and Wami. And puts the shield over uh, Masrani to keep him nice and safe. And then Masrani does all the healing. So you kind of get the point of how this goes, right? Uh, it's a very, very expensive team. As you see down here, my Panda, he's also hyper-evolved to 120. My Wamagon is hyper-evolved 100. So, a very expensive team, but this is stage 6 on auto. <clears throat> <clears throat> the vast majority of you can't do this, but I'm just highlighting the comp that you can build to get it done if you are so inclined, like myself, to want to do things on auto. Okay. So we're gonna come back over here to the main game page as I queue up uh, how to beat it uh, on the timed run. Now, I gotta give some credit to two people in my guild because I did not come up with this. Uh, I'm gonna butcher his name, but there's Beardy Weirdy who was discussing it at the time where it was him discussing it that convinced me to, to pursue it, to keep at it. Because it is hard, and you got to do it on manual. Although some people do it on auto. But it's a little bit RNG dependent. And then I think it's... Oh, I'm going to say Palaveri or Palaver. Uh, sorry, buddy. If you're watching this, I butchered your name. You're the one who first showed how to do this. Now, he is the guy, uh, or one of the guys uh, in my alliance that is a assassin aficionado. Loves his assassins. So he showed me how to do this. Him and Beardy both kind of walked me through how to do this. So, again, here's the screen. As you see, I have got... It is stage 6. It is level 6. And I have gotten the limited tickets. So, I have beaten the timed run uh, with 12 seconds to spare. Now, it's an RNG... For me, it was an RNG nightmare. So, I'm not going to do it on stage 6. I'm going to do it on stage 5. Just so I can highlight the fight to you. Now, also because I had to go back and get the limited tickets uh, that I had not gotten. Because the tank comp is just too slow. So, here is the comp. And I'm going to... Actually, let's wind it back so you can see the prototypes. Further, Dialer. God damn it, Dialer. Okay, pause. Okay. So, again. Panda. X30. Hyper Evolved 120. Zeta. Uh, she's only X20. And she is not Hyper Evolved. She is Immortal 1. Miranda, again, as we discussed, is, is X30. 
and the core to this team. The this is the core of the team. I'm I'm not I'm sorry guys, you're not going to get around it. I don't maybe someone can find another comp that can get him down this fast, but also keep in mind my Rickert is X30 hyper evolved level 52. Uh you're relying on assassins and uh you all the increased damage that comes with them and Miranda. So you want them in the back line. Uh, I don't, you don't need him in the back line, but I prefer Miranda up front and personal so her shield reaches further. And then these two are your damage dealers. My Dominic is Immortal Zero, uh, not Hyper Evolved, X20. Uh, I've got a level 50 Aubeck. I've got the Chaos Chip, which is going to proc a 45% increased attack when they get a shield. This Proto... I didn't discuss it. This proto is also needed in the auto team. This proto, this purple proto, how many times can I say proto, increases the healing and shielding effects of your tanks when they proc an ability. So when Zeta pops up her shield, her her, her barrier, or, or basically her protection buff, uh, it is doubled. When she heals, it's doubled. Um, if not, I think it's actually 40%, but you get the point. It's, it's big. It's big, big, big. Bigger, bigger. And that works for Wamagon as well, which is why this purple prototype is uh, um, the prototype for the new tank team. It, it is tailor-made to suit them. It just sucks that it's purple and it's less stats. But that doesn't help your assassins. Uh, I'm going to switch out this prototype, I do believe. Uh, I might, I might not, uh, for the healing horn. And in fact, I do. I can see myself clicking on right now. <coughs> uh, Miranda and Panda are going to be on manual. Okay. Enough of me making you guys stare at a paused screen. So there we go. Panda and Miranda are on manual. Now, why you have to do this? So you see my record's almost dead. Both my records and my Dominic are in Marauder set. You are relying for a large part on the Marauder set to keep them alive, which it will do because they do so much damage that they'll heal themselves. But basically every time Miranda has a shield up, you want to put it as far forward as you can to cover as many of the assassins that you can catch and your tanks. So you're going to see this. Now, important. Panda's first ult, and this is going to be the same for each of these four segments. You're going to burn his first ult as soon as possible. See, there I go. Boom. And then shield, boom. So I covered Dominic in a big old, big old meat shield. And I got Rickert. They're both shielded. Everybody's good. Okay. Now, that first ult went off. Uh, your assassin's doing a bunch of damage. You see the health bar. It is almost close to his first, I'm going to kill you really quick phase. You have to save... This panda alt, which is why you got to put it in manual, you got to save this panda alt for when he goes into his I'm going to stomp your face phase. But with Miranda, constantly, if uh, whenever her alt comes up, pop it. Move it as far forward as you can to capture as many people as you can and then pop it. And as you see, I'm going to hold my panda alt because he's going to pop right now and now you have to alt now. You have to manually... Make sure that alt goes off because you only got two tanks. So you have to rely on that alt to proc all the knockdowns to get him out of this phase as quickly as possible. As quickly as possible. You don't want you want to mitigate all the damage you can to your team in this phase since you're only running one subpar healer. I've said it and I'm going to say it again. Miranda is not a healer. She's a support. Uh, she does way more for support than she actually heals. So you have to mitigate this um, damage buff ASAP, ASAP. Now, shield forward, and now we do it all over again. So let's just see. This is really about controlling Panda ults. So I think I do burn the ult here because there is enough time to get his ult back. So you want to use an ult uh, in each segment as soon as possible. Then you want to hold an ult. So, uh-oh, uh-oh, but he's coming back here. Okay, here we go. Alts up. Wham, wham. Sit down, son. You're down. Pop the shield. Get everyone back up to health. You see we're right back down there now. I do believe on this one, you see that the health bar is right at the break point. 
and Panda's alt is just coming up. And for uh, the record, my uh, Panda is in a full Hawkeye set. My accuracy is like 350, which is going to give him like 82.5% chance to land a knockdown on every skill. You also have to get his accuracy way, way up there. I'm saying 350 plus. So at 200, it's going to give him a 60% chance. At 300, it's going to give him a 75% chance. At 400, it's going to give him a 90%, 90%? Yes, 90% chance for a knockdown on every skill. So if you can hit 400, cool, but don't, don't, disregard HP and damage reduction subsets too much. It's an HP hands, H or accuracy helm, and damage reduction boots, and then as much um, accuracy subsets as possible to get him way up there, plus all of the accuracy from guild tech. You need those knockdowns going off, otherwise you're gonna die. So you get the point. Um, he's gonna do his little break point here. I'm gonna whack him. Oh, I'm canceling it because he didn't actually. I'm waiting for the perpy swirl. There it is. There's the perpy swirly death thing. So down he goes. Now. Oh, and now you're going to see my wife talking about her new advertising for her business. Yes. Okay. So at this point, you're going to lose people. You're probably going to lose people because, like I said, Miranda is not a healer. Um, and... Uh, She's just needs one little love tap and she's going down, but that's okay because at this point You got him. He got him. So there we go. We lost record. We lost Miranda, but Now I got to get Lyra to help me make some content. Yes, our child is going to help you make content for your advertising Okay, well everyone gets to see what my wife looks like. There you go As I pause this panda in the air alt um, Miranda's dead records are dead. I got Dominic but he's going to land an ultimate now, and he's going to proc the nuclear storm of death. And he is going to go down with plenty of time to spare. Let's see if I can't go back, show you what the timer looked like. There we go. Look at that. Lots of time to spare on this one, but keep in mind this is also stage five. I'm showing you stage five because... I didn't feel like recording over and over and over and over and over again until I finally got it down on stage six again. But this is the exact same strat that I did for stage six. Okay, so there we go. Timed run. Done. Give me my limited tickets. I'm never doing that again. I'm just going to use my auto team going forward. One and done. All over. Not Never doing that again because that is painful. It's kind of fun though. Kind of satisfying to have to actually strategize and plan. If anyone says this game is an idle RPG, it is, but it does have moments like this. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to attempt to see how far I can get on my free-to-play account. My second free-to-play account, which has a little bit more toys. So, if we go to tanks, we see that I do have an immortal X-20 panda. Um, no, nope, Wamagon's not going to cut it. Zeta is not going to cut it. So I don't have Zeta on this account. Whereas I have Zeta on my baby free to play accounts. So now I'm relying on two tanks and I'm going to copy a strategy that I saw. Uh, I think it's Ryzen gaming, Ryzen gaming. If you, uh, if you don't have Zeta and you don't have Wamagon, this can work. And then we're going to chuck in some supports. Uh, we're going to go boom, boom. This is my, I don't have Miranda up and ready. Let's see, what level? Ooh, 35. Uh, but I do have plus two ultimate on Panda. You don't really want plus two ultimate, though. You kind of want plus one all skills. Uh, so, uh, not the greatest commander, but we got to use what we got to work with. So, what? who can benefit from here? Nobody can benefit from nothing here. So, just pick your highest stat proto. No assassins on this team. Again... And I'm running level 49 because I'm slacking and haven't upgraded that. So let's just do that right now. Boom, 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 boom. And we're done. Okay. Is it going to take me right back to the fight? Good. Okay. Slide that puppy in there. Uh, and yes, uh, I am I do have healing horn. Okay. There we go. Let's try this. It's just stage one. Shouldn't be a problem. 
I wish we had a plus three speed. So the point of running reds here is since you only have the two tanks and Vagnus is a good other tank, you're going to see this. The screen flickers ever since I updated my blue stacks. <clears throat> Unless I have it in non full screen mode. Yeah, sit down, buddy. Panda doing all the damages. This account does have Rickert. Uh, I probably could have used Rickert instead of two heals this low. But we're going to suffer through this one. Because it looks like we're going to get the limited ticket on stage one. Stage two will sub out uh, Miranda for a Rickert. Although, only one assassin is not ideal. But I can run two assassins and then drop res. So give me the limit tickets. Okay, good. Cool. There's one down. I think we're only going to get up to about four. So let's try Let's try pulling res out. Uh, and then let's try running some assassins. So I'm going to do these two bad boys. Put them in the back so they get the shield. Now, we are going to run chaos chip which is also under leveled wow 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 and then we're gonna run this to give them a shield since i don't have miranda i gotta rely on flashpoint oh okay challenge uh, warning warning will robinson yes i know i know on my baby account i cannot pass stage four so my panda is only legendary 0x10. So you see already the assassins are blowing this guy out of the water for damage. The question is going to be, can I actually do enough interrupts on auto? No, I can't. Okay. Problem number one. Got to hold pound. If you're going to do this, got to hold pound as alt. Which means pound has got to go on man... Manual. I should probably have Vegas in the top left corner too, since he's a, a better tank than um, Panda. All right, whack, whack, whack. Okay, he's gonna do. He's gonna pop over there, and then we're gonna pop the ultimate. And now he's gonna go down quite easily. Right, same strat as we used in the time run. He is uh, dying really quickly. Really quick. Really fast. Done. There you go. Tanks and assassins. Doing work. That one was easy. Let's do it again. Alright, I'm going to do that. I'm going to switch that. Because he's going to start hitting a little harder. Again, is he still... Yeah, Panda's ult is off. Here we go. Now. I'm going to see if I can... If, if he's going to still be up by the time I get my next ult. I don't know what kind of gear... Oh, no. Screwed up. I don't know what kind of gear my pan is in. Alright, let's see. Did we get him? We got him. We got him! It was the skin of our teeth, though. I'm going to hold this, this next ult. Oh, but Bailey's dead. Oh, well. Don't kill Maz. Don't kill Maz. Don't kill him. Don't kill him. Don't kill him. I need him. There we go. Alt. Smash, smash. Um, unfortunately, now, though, my record is not going to be doing a whole lot of damage since uh, he's got nobody to proc his um, his crits. He is still doing the brunt of my damage, though. And since there is three people... Oh, 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 oh. Get it off, get it off. Boom, sit down, boy. All right, now let's see if we can get the limited ticket. Come on. Uh, probably not going to. Um, come on, hit him, hit him, hit him, hit him, hit him, hit him, hit him. Hit him. Oh, or not. Fine, don't. 
And you're dead. Okay. Didn't get the limited ticket. Would have got it. Maybe I, I could try that again and and try to keep Bailey up. But uh, and then I could put Moz on manual to get his shield. I, I, I might do that on this one. Now, I think we're going to have to do the same strategy because I don't think the res strategy is as effective since you got no damage. So we are going to put Masrani as well on manual. All right, here we go. I'm going to put the damage meter off. You don't need to see it. So look at Vagnus. He is hurting bad. So let's pop one. And then we're going to hold. Uh, where'd he go? Oh, there he is. Right there. Okay, he's coming for my healer. He's coming for my healer. Whoa! He's he's he's, he's angry. He's angry. Um, I'm gonna have to proc it now, otherwise he's gonna kill everybody. Heal up! Heal up! Thank you. Oh, and everybody's dead. Okay. Yes, that one did not work. All right, so what we're going to do now, we're going to try that again. We're going to try with uh, Rickert, or not Rickert. We're going to try with Dominic, who is purple. Why? Because Dominic can't be targeted by skills. He can still be hit by AoEs, so he's prob this is probably not going to work. Nope, 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 probably not going to work. I think he's gonna die really quick. Well, at least Rickard's not dead. All right, do the first ulti, ulti. Actually, we're gonna turn Maz back on manual. So, got five percent. I think I'm gonna hold it. Actually, no, I'm not going to, because he's just going to kill me. I, I got to be interrupting him so he doesn't do those AoEs. Right? But now I got to try to taunt. It looks like this is going to... Nope, my mods is dead. Yay, yay. All right, you guys get the point. We're going to try this one more time, and then we're going to wrap it up. Right? Um, until I get like uh, Miranda up there or until I get uh, Zeta up there on this account which is going to be forever um, I'm probably stuck farming what is this stage 3 or 4 I can't remember All right. and actually let's, let's run this on auto see if the game plays it better than I do so there's the first ulti ulti here comes there's the big chunk of damage now I'm relying on interrupts to keep him from swirling ball of deathing me. No, oh, there he just he's just destroying my Mazran. Okay, and Mazran is dead again. Okay, yeah, all right. You see how this is going. We're going to try one more thing, and then we're going to end it. Uh, actually, we're not. We're going to end it. We're going to end it right there. What am I at? Four. Just like my other free to big play account, I made it to stage three. That's the fight. That's the boss. Battlefield of Azura. The Anzutra. Boss battle. Ladies and gentlemen. <coughs> As I cough into the mic. That was uh, unprofessional. If there's more tips and tricks, you tell me. Um, I think I gave you some pretty good uh, ideas of, of what you need to beat this bad boy. Uh, it's it's tough. Uh, it has some pretty tricky and clever mechanics. Kudos to the devs for that. Um, you need uh, to run this to get your Vanguard and your healer gear, which is the gear that drops. And it also drops... Ancient Ultra Gear, which I think is stupid, but smelt it, get rid of it, make it go bye bye So, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed this. If you have any comments, questions, concerns, put them down in the comment section, comment section, and I will discuss them with you. The word of the day is Predator, because this guy 
Actually, not just Predator. Knockoff Predator. Because he feels like a knockoff Predator to me. Um, he's kind of got some Batman in him, too, with these. But, you know, knockoff Predator. Okay, put that in the comments section. I'll know you made it to the end. I'm going to thank you. I'm going to put a little heart on your comment. And I'm going to know that you love me. Okay, so until next time, ladies and gentlemen, cheers, peace, bye-bye.